Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime and oh boy, we potentially have a massive leak right now. Well, massive in terms of at least giving a name to something Nintendo Switch related that maybe we've been talking about for years or maybe we've only been talking about for six months. It kind of depends on what this is. Uh, there has been some new information gleaned from recent games using Unreal Engine 4. Uh, obviously these games being made for like PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, the Switch. Uh, and within the code base of the files, we potentially have discovered the name for either the Switch Pro Pro or the Nintendo Switch 2. The actual name Nintendo is using. And we'll explain how this could actually be possible after I remind you, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to one lucky winner. All you have to do is head to that Gleam.io link down in the description or the pinned comment. I wish all of you guys luck. We will be announcing the winner on April 1st. No, the giveaway is not a joke. It's not an April Fool's joke. That just happens to be the first of the next month, so we can actually run the giveaway all the way through March. All right, let's get into it because we first need to explain how this could happen. So. I have heard, you know, in talking about this a little bit on social media, that some people are skeptical of what I'm about to tell you because they don't think a name could leak through this way. And I'm here to tell you that's categorically false. Developers actually knew the name of the Switch before it was announced in October of 2016. Why? Because the code name or the real name of the Switch is actually within a lot of engines and software being developed specifically for the platform. Sure. NX was used within the code base of some stuff as well, of course, before it was announced, but the actual name of the product was present. We just didn't know. Why? Because we didn't know what games were actually using said engines and being coming to Switch. So those data mines didn't really unveil anything because we didn't know. This is a case where we know about certain games coming to Switch and other platforms and are able to infer from data mining those platforms and those engines to discover different things about them. This is kind of like the Nvidia leak, which all but basically proved that yes, a next generation Switch is coming. We'll have DLSS, we'll have 4K support in some way. We'll be using a much more modern chipset like the Ampere. So yeah, there's been a lot of stuff we've already inferred from the Nvidia leak. Uh, that NVIDIA themselves confirmed was real. So uh, that is something for us to keep in the back of our minds. And we already know this hardware exists somewhere, at least for a new generation device, at least what I presume is a new generation device. I'd be very surprised if an Ampere based switch is anything but that. That is such a technological leap forward from the Maxwell tech architecture that the Tegra X1 uses that it would be baffling if that was just a Switch Pro. But here is why I'm bringing this up, because the name of the next Nintendo Switch product, the next Nintendo Switch platform, might have been leaked here with Unreal Engine 4. So let me read the evidence and I'll show a screenshot up here in a moment. Uh, I, this comes from Rare Gaming Dump on Twitter. It says, reportedly data miners, and this isn't just reportedly, I've actually talked to a couple data miners who were able to independently verify this, so this does exist. Um, that a recent Unreal Engine 4 games include text referencing a new console called the Nintendo Switch Forward. Now he got this information from Matsu on the Forest Maze Discord, uh, and Matsu is actually well known to be uh, a uh, data dumper. Switch SDK version 13.0.0 from mid-2021 has a list of target CPU platforms, including the ARM Cortex-A77 and the NVIDIA Carmel as the latest entries. Interestingly, the same file also has entries for the ARM Cortex-A15, A53, and the CPUs used by Nintendo's scrapped indie console. So there was like, at one point Nintendo was making some, some cheap little plug and play indie console. Um, Anyways, the obviously what we care about is the reference that in that same file, it's ARM Cortex-A77, which are some of the more recent ARM CPUs. Uh, there's also a PPC entry likely for PowerPC CPU that's using the Wii U, which again, we've known about that for quite some time, so I'm not gonna dive too deep into that. But as you see here with this file here, yeah, there's the reference. You see Nintendo Switch, and then right below it, you see Switch Forward. Now I think Switch Forward is quite the forward-thinking name, uh, and it's gonna be interesting to see why Nintendo uses this name. Nintendo usually has a reason behind their names, like the GameCube was literally a cube 
that played games. The DS was a, you know, a video game system with two screens. The 3DS was a video game system with two screens, but also glasses-free 3D. The Wii was all about, you know, we, the community, we like to play games. Uh, the Wii U was supposed to be a, hey, we're making a console like Wii, but for you, for the individual, for the hardcore gamer. Uh, that marketing obviously didn't go very well. And then we have the Switch, which is literally, hey, look, you can play this in like three different forms. Four, if you count the VR game, right? Like, yeah, you have handheld, you got console, you got tabletop, and then obviously, you know, the VR stuff with Labo VR. So yeah, the Switch actually made a ton of sense with, you know, the Nintendo Switch. Hey, switch between different ways of playing just like that. You don't have to think about it. There's not long waiting processes. The system doesn't have to shut down or restart or go into separate modes. It just works and it's really, really nice and it's been a really neat feature since 2017, even if it's not the first device to offer this capability. So, what did we learn here about the Switch Forward? Well, the Switch Forward would seem like Nintendo moving forward with that Switch concept. I guess taking the Switch concept forward would to me be the marketing spin here if that ended up becoming the name. Now this could obviously just be a code name, Switch Forward, and it, it actually ends up being called something completely different. And is Switch Forward a reference to the Switch Pro uh, that supposedly was in development? Is it a reference to the next generation Switch? We don't obviously know. That kind of information can't be gleaned from files like this because we don't have exact stuff besides you know, the ARM Cortex you know, 77 stuff, but uh, we can't really, in, you know, infer much from this name other than talking about whether or not we like it. And I will say Switch Forward is a very interesting name. I'm not actually, I don't actually hate that. I don't actually hate that. Like if you think of the new Nintendo Switch, the, you know, that, that being a possibility, uh, you know, Switch 2, obviously people like numbers, but Switch Forward to me is much better than like Wii U or even Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So I don't know, to me, I really, really like this whole moving forward concept, Switch forward, switch forward into the future, into the next thing Nintendo's doing. I think that Nintendo could actually have a lot of marketing and some really great commercials surrounding this. So to me, that means that I actually think this is legitimately a really good name. And you know, whatever Nintendo actually releases and what the final name becomes when it comes out, when it's unveiled, will be interesting, but if it is forward, uh, I am actually looking forward to how Nintendo uses that in their marketing spins, because there's so many unique ways that you could really tackle this, and so many different angles. I mean, I'm actually interested. You guys give me your concepts for Switch Forward, and the sort of marketing slang, the catchphrases, the commercial ideas that you might have down in the comments, because I bet you as a community, we could come up with dozens and dozens and dozens of different ways that Switch Forward would actually be quite a brilliant marketing move. Also, if you don't like the name Switch Forward, let me know why. What about it irks you? What about it just doesn't sit right with you? And obviously let me know if you think that Nintendo will stick with this name or if it will change. All we can confirm at this point is that yeah, it is being used in some Unreal Engine 4 projects right now. They happen to be coming to Switch and other platforms, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be any sort of finalized name. Obviously nothing's finalized until Nintendo announces it. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime. I know, no hat today. My hair was probably a bit of a mess, a bit of a raggedy mess. I know, okay, my, I'm having a bad hair day, okay? This is just the way it is. My hair is, is going crazy. I just, you know what? This is just how it goes some days, guys. You get the Nate who woke up in the morning who tried to do something nice with his hair. It failed, so it just looks like bedhead. I mean, I, I don't know. My, my hair just, it's getting a little too fine as I get older. Like, it's not thinning, but it's like, course I, I i i can't really explain it but it just doesn't want to cooperate like it used to so thank you guys for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video